Hi everyone, Fian here for suasnews.com. Coming to you from the best RC flying club in the world, as far as I'm concerned, down to the Western Cape of South Africa. And today we'll be playing around with Arducopter's Region of Interest function, or ROI function. And uh, I'll show you how to set it up on the mission planner first, then we'll go outside, fly the flight plan, see the code in action. And uh, basically the Region of Interest function allows you Keep the aircraft's nose pointed at a specified point throughout the flight plan or if you have a camera gimbal set up uh, that is controlled by APM or Pixel then uh, it'll keep the camera centered on that spot throughout the flight plan. And uh, today we'll be doing this demonstration on the 2014 Steady Drone Quad or QU4D. It's got a GoPro Silver on it, uh, it's an onboard video and uh, yeah let's uh, go see the code in action. Alright, so we've got the mission planner open now here on the flight plan page. I've already uh, loaded a flight plan for today's mission. Um, we'll be running Arducopter version 3.1.5. In uh, Arducopter 3.2, the set do ROI function has changed a little bit, or the do set ROI function. Uh, but for today's purposes, we'll, we'll just focus on 3.1.5. So just a quick overview of uh, the mission as it's loaded on uh, the Steady Drone at the moment. Uh, we'll launch the copter center of the runway, or at least at the X here. And uh, we'll GPS loiter a little bit just to make sure the GPS is holding nicely and all stabilized functions are working. Then we'll engage the auto flight. It'll fly to waypoint 1, climbing to 40 meters above ground level. And uh, it'll hold there for 15 seconds as you can see over there, 15 second delay at waypoint 1 then it will carry on with the rest of the flight plan half moon here to the south of the airfield and uh, from 15 to 17 it will be a straight line just to avoid flying over the pits and the clubhouse alright once it reaches 19 it's going to return to launch and auto land again where we started off alright and as you can see Every second waypoint here is set up uh, as the do set ROI command and uh, you won't see number 2 and 4, 6, 8, etc. on here because that is not an actual waypoint, it is a uh, command. So it'll fly between 1 and 3 and between 1 and 3 you'll see here 2, it'll keep looking where we want it to look. We'll keep pointing the aircraft's nose anyway to the region of interest. Alright, well, it'll make sense, a little bit more sense in a moment. Let's clear the mission and start from scratch. Alright, home location is set up there where we're going to launch. Alright, it's waypoint 1, and then there we want a 15 second delay. Just to make sure everything is working correctly, then we'll continue with the rest of the flight plan. Alright, so how the region of interest function works at the moment is... I'll show you here, we'll set up three waypoints. If you want the aircraft to nose into the region of interest or keep the camera slash gimbal set up pointed at the region of interest, you'll uh, set up three waypoints here. All right, sorry, I'll just delete that waypoint. And then at waypoint two, in between one and three here, we will select the do set RI function over there click there once and uh, the waypoint 2 will turn into a red marker All right, which we will move to where we want the aircraft to point that is the uh, target location so waypoint 2 is not actually a waypoint it is just a command so from one waypoint 1 uh, the aircraft will fly to waypoint 3 but pointing at um, the command 2 which is the do set ROI function Alright, so every alternate one on the waypoints we'll have to set up as a do set ROI if you want uh, the aircraft to keep looking at the center throughout the flight plan. Alright, set up do set ROI as you can see over here. Click once. For some reason this one has moved, the other one has moved to the side again. Alright, we'll just keep the target location at roughly the same point. So at 6, we'll set up another do set ROI. So basically every alternate one, in between two waypoints, you have to give a third waypoint, uh, change it to do set ROI to keep the aircraft 
pointed at the target location in between those two waypoints. All right, and then you move for each ROI marker that's created in between waypoints, you just move it to wherever you want the aircraft to look. So in theory, we could have uh, the aircraft looking at a different spot between each of these sets of waypoints, so between one and three. We could have the aircraft look here. Um, between three and five, we could have the aircraft turn and for that leg, continue looking at the center, etc., etc. So we'll set those all up in the middle, roughly the same area. Alright, so you just continue doing that, just setting every second waypoint to do set ROI. Give it a moment, it'll change to a red marker, and just to click, make it quicker. Move that to the center, etc., etc. Alright. And then uh, there we go on that. If there's any questions, just drop a comment. Um, I'll be monitoring and uh, try and help out if you have any questions with the uh, 3.1.5 firmware for the ROI function. I've been playing around with it quite a bit over the last couple of days to get comfortable with it. It's a very nice function. Alright, so got it on GPS uh, loiter mode. Just hanging above the field. Got a ground station set up. Uh, it's basically just mission planner connected to 3DR telemetry and uh, set up my auto mode on a physical switch which will hit now and uh, we're going to see if the ROI gets to work alright so we're going to hit auto there she goes ground station talking to me get to waypoint one which is at the end of the runway there it's gonna hold for 15 seconds and then it's gonna commence a flight plan um, towards the south of us on the side of the runway facing us all the way with the re region of interest function running is facing us nice and slow three and a half meters per second region of interest is at the X in the middle of the runway as you can see she keeps turning the nose of the aircraft towards the region of interest as I don't have a controllable gimbal well my gimbal is not set up to be controlled by the Pixhawk at this time so the whole aircraft gets turned straight line across as you can see she keeps the region of interest on the nose goes all the way to the last waypoint where it started basically and then it's going to return to launch at auto land. Alright, I'm just going to walk a bit closer. Just to monitor the auto landing. Sorry for the shaking. Here she comes. I've got the remote to my hand, or the radio. Come right above us, leaves in nice and quick till about 10 meters and then it's going to slow down to its landing speed of 30 centimeters per second. What I found it provides a nice gentle landing even in high wind conditions. Alright, she is lined up nicely at the uh, home position the launch point which is on the X, center of the X on the runway, you'll see it in a moment.
I say the GPS is quite accurate. As you can see, it's all fully automatic. There's my remote. Nice 30 centimeter per second descent. Touchdown, and then she'll disengage or disarm, and then I'll just bring the throttle back. Throttle back. There, she's disarmed herself.